All right, welcome to the tale of the tape presented by Hedge Better. The uh, Vernon brothers are not with us today. Uh, Bobby Lights Out Lane is with us as usual, and we have a special guest, Jay Clancy, with us today. What's up, guys? What's up? How you doing? Uh, not much shit going on this week. Basically nothing. Obviously, uh, some fucking beef going on between Lights Out Lane and uh, Pac-Man Jones. And we got uh, the YouTube versus TikTok fight, so it's going to be a fucking pretty good episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the bare knuckle, right? Yeah. Well, I don't think that's what this this weekend, oh, but not. we can still talk about it because like the two hottest girls in the world are fighting in it. <laughs> Is that the one who... like? You sent the picture. Liam sent the picture. It was like, come for the boobs. Stay yeah. for like the... Yeah, Page stay for the Page Page Van Zandt? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's fighting... When is that? She She's fight. It's... uh. I think it's in, not for like another few weeks. Oh, but okay. So I was going to say, she just fought like like a month ago. Yeah, Wait, yeah. yeah did she she, she got her fight? ass kicked. Oh, she did? Yeah, I saw that. It was I, a good saw fight. A picture. It, was, she, it went the distance. She looked yeah, awful. I don't yeah. think she got her ass kicked. I think it was... She got like fucked up. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it was like an even fight. It was. I'm pretty sure it went to decision. Yeah, it did. It did. I don't but know. the the girl she's fighting, Rachel, is like another super hot girl who like is just taking. I advantage. like what they're doing here. They're yes. clearly their yeah. business model. Like, yeah, all right. They figured, is, they figured it out. Like, yeah. how to sell tickets. Like. Yeah, this is the second fight too. They fought in the UFC. Oh really? Paige Van Zandt won. Oh, they already by, fought. Yeah, Paige Van Zandt won by an armbar in the first round. Oh really? Yeah. So this is gonna be right. interesting if she can't because she obviously grappled. It's gonna be interesting to watch him fucking. Yeah. Sky. I mean, I'd rather watch him grapple to be honest with you. They definitely, <laughs> they definitely want her to win. It's in their best interest if she wins. Yeah, she's, she's like their, she's a superstar. She's a star. She's like their star. Like yeah. she, they signed her for the most amount of money. Yeah, and any I don't think anyone else they've ever paid anyone else the type of money they're paying her. You know what I mean? So, I, like she, they like recruited her from the UFC. So yeah, she left the UFC. Well, she got fired. Years. Yeah, she got. Uh, did she? Da, yeah, Dana White like was like basically told her to kick rocks and was like, yeah, I think she needs to uh, test free agency for a while or something like. Oh, and then right. two days later, BKFC was like, all right, well we'll sign her, and yeah, she was like. Th- Hey, Dana, see you later. I just yeah. signed a huge, a way bigger contract with them than I had with you It's guys, a pretty so. foolish move by Dana to let go of, like, the hottest girl that's ever Yeah, fought. because she, she kept losing, though, and that was, yeah. he was basically saying he didn't give a fuck about how hot she was. Like, she kept losing fights, so. Yeah, but everybody else does. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. <laughs> but the point is, it's just funny, he, he basically cut her, or didn't re-sign her or whatever, and then she instantly fucking, he, like, kind of, like, Threw shade at her, like, yeah, have fun with free agency. And it was like two days later, like, all right, sick. That, that actually went well. So yeah. now I'm making more money to fight for them. So I'm definitely but she, buying But if that she keeps really. losing, eventually people aren't going to care how hot she is. Like, yeah, no, she, gonna, has to, she has to yeah, win. Yeah, so You're right. it's not a coincidence they picked somebody that she already beat. Yeah, obviously, by Amba, so it's a little different than Bare Knuckle. But yeah. I think they're trying to pave the way for her to get a win here. Yeah, that would be cool. But uh, what are we talking about? We got off topic. Well, this, yeah, we this, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We we got <laughs> to just yeah. get the, we got to get the shit with Pac Man oh, yeah. Jones oh, yeah. out of the oh, way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because that's okay. fucking huge news. Obviously, for anyone that doesn't know, Pac Man Jones called out Bobby. Wait, and uh, what's your story with that? Like, where were you when that happened? And like, how'd you find out? Uh, I was actually fucking. Well, I already knew that they like threw the fucking gauntlet out there, like all over social media. They were trying to like, and obviously, I was talking to the fucking people at Boston or whatever, like. They were, like, looking for someone like that for me to fight for the next event. And uh, so, obviously, they were, like, you know, running through some names or whatever. But nobody really called me out. A couple WWE guys, I think, might have called me out, too, actually. I don't know. But nobody that I had. Nobody that was that big. I didn't even know who they were. But, uh, yeah, then out of nowhere, I was in my group text. Fucking one of my friends was like, yo, did Pac-Man Jones really just call Lang out? And, like, my te- my phone just had blowing up. Like, fucking every single, all these different people coming out of the fucking woodwork to text me. Like, dude, Pac-Man has called you out. Like, well, like, I, so I, I found out just from like my group text and from people texting me, and uh, obviously I fucking called the promoter right away. And actually, he called me, and then I, I was like, "What's up?" And he's like, "Dude, you must have heard right now, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, dude, my fucking thirty fucking people just texted me. Like, he really called me out." And he was like, "Yeah, like we're gonna set this up if you're down." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm fucking down. Like, <laughs> let's do it." Like, he wanted to make. He's like, "Yeah, you're 100 percent in. Like, if we set this up, you're gonna fight him." I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> Hundred yeah, percent. I, I know you called Justin yeah. right away and wanted to film that uh, reaction. Like, well, that was, so that was the thing. He uh, he was like, "How fast can you cut a fucking promo? Like, we got to get." He's like, "We got to strike while the iron's hot." You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He's like, "You got to get a video, like a video done, like ASAP." Like, we got to get it out there now. And it was a, I think it was a Thursday, and I was like, "I'll Thursday, get it done." Yeah. Tom- I was like, "I'll get it done tomorrow." Like, yeah. But first- no, that it was funny because so b- before I even got in contact with you, right? So Joey's blowing me up like crazy he's calling he's calling me he's like dude you gotta get hold of bobby see what's going on and now like other people are texting us too like and be like dude like 
you know, you see what's going on, Bobby. And so everyone's like, dude, you got to get a hold of him. He's got to come back to the studio. He's got to do a response video. Got to do a response video. And I'm thinking like, all right, all right. Like, you know, he's probably like working, you know, I'm not going to bother him right now. And then when I got a hold of you, you were like just as hyped to respond. Oh yeah. It was like anybody. See, so like every, everyone's like, get a hold of him, get a hold of him. I'm like, all right, maybe like, you know, we'll see, we'll see. And then you called me like, I got to get in the studio. I got to yeah. respond. Well, like, I, just, I just Let's got off go. the phone with the promoter and he was like, I need a video like today. And I was like, I can do it tomorrow. So, and then I literally fucking was like, all right, I got to. So I went, to, I went into my phone to call you, and I noticed I already had a text. I already had, like, three texts from you. Actually, from our group chat, I already had yeah. like, it blowing up. Yeah. But I was, like, already on my way to call you, and I was like, oh, shit, I already have, like, ten messages from those guys. So I obviously I called you, and then we made a video <laughs> last week, obviously. So and Video's doing epic, pretty epic, well, actually. Epic video. We, <laughs> epic put the, video. We, we put the video up on the Hedge Better YouTube, and uh, oh, yeah. in the last couple days, it's already over 1,000 views. It's uh, People are watching. Oh, yeah, nice. So... Uh, a lot of yeah, people. You guys don't have to reach that. Barstool obviously has. Like, they, they got, yeah. they got yeah. like a million. Oh, views. yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For we're sure. Only, they only have a million on yeah. us. We're, 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 we're growing slow. Did you read the comments? You read the comments? Read the comments? Uh, on- some, I just scroll through and I just like, I'll if I see someone, if someone, <laughs> someone says so something good. funny, like it's fun. I don't just like, if someone says something not good about me, I always like it. But if so, when people say mean shit about me, if it's if it's actually funny, I always like it too. Yeah, well, you. I mean, you knew, <laughs> like, you knew, you, you knew what people were gonna like. We, yeah. you already said like I say the f word too much. I understand. I know. That. I'm well aware of that. <laughs> yeah, that's what a bunch of a bunch yeah. of people were like. That's all I've been talking fucking. about, and it's it's funny that everyone's talking about. It. It's like have you guys not been paying attention this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> like this is my that was my sixth promo video I've made for Rough and Rowdy. I haven't said the F word less than any of the other videos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing every time. I don't know. I can't help it. I say it a lot when I talk, but I, it's like, I say it a lot anyway, but it's like times 10 when I do promo videos. Or yeah. Something. I don't know well, yeah, why. Yeah, you get them pumped up. Because I'm like in the zone. I'm, yeah. I'm just spitballing. Yeah, some and, people say, uh. Yeah, instead of saying, say um, I say, yeah, 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 yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah. Like, it's I don't say, crush. I never say, um. How many times do I say the word, um? Zero. Yeah. My, my, <laughs> My fuck the um ratio is like a hundred hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like there's zero zero it's fucking not that, ums. It's not that strange for like this part of the world, like where we live. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, no, I, um talk, I, I say fucking all the time. Yep. Yeah. It's never like I know. It's just because people in other parts of the country are like Yeah, and then when you're doing a two minute long video and you say it sixty four times and you're like, <laughs> All right, this guy that's the only word he knows. But whatever. I say fuck a lot. Get over it. Like No, the vi- the video yeah. obviously was it, it was successful because yeah. of your fucking. I definitely charisma. think it'd be better if I could subtract some of those fucks. Hey, <laughs> did you do one take? Was that one that, take? Ah, uh, no, we, that was like the fourth take, I think. But like, yeah, it was like, like one, all, one all the way through. Yeah, basically. I kept getting like all the way through and then fucking up at the end. Like, and we'd have to do the whole thing over. Because oh. I don't like cutting. Actually, fun fact: all my promo videos are always done in one take. I always shoot them in like, like I, oh, I, I don't be. like cut cutting them. Like having them look edited or cut. Yeah, I, yeah. You want it authentic. Yeah, one deliver. Yeah, yeah, I don't do it. It doesn't authentic. like it's not my first try. But like when I I do the whole like speech in one like I don't stop in between. Yeah, right. I, I mean I was like, in there. Yeah. I don't know the proper terminology to describe it. It's like a monologue. I do the whole monologue. Yeah. So if I mess up at the very end, I have to do the whole thing over. I don't just like cut it out and then just fix it. I, you know, what I mean, there's been times. Dude, dude, there's been times. Oh, yeah. There's been. I know I should. But th- there's been times where I've done it, and. Uh, Literally, like the whole thing, perfect, and then the, the very last sentence, I fuck up, and we uh, and my friends are like that. I filmed before I was doing it with you guys, like they'd be like, "Dude, are you kidding me?" And then I'd have to do the whole thing over again, and they'd be, <laughs> we'd be like, we're gonna be here all day, like. So yeah, I it is it's one it's one monologue, but it, it's never the first try. I always do like a couple of test runs, and I fuck up a couple times because it's not it's not like scripted. But I, all right, I obviously you guys were here for it, you know, you you guys know, but just to the listeners. I don't I don't script it, but I come up with like bullet points that I'm gonna talk about. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm like, all right, I gotta I gotta talk about this, I gotta talk about that, I gotta talk about this, I gotta, I gotta touch up on this. And I just like I kind of have a general outline of what I'm gonna say. And you just freestyle. But then I kind of yeah. just like freestyle String along it together, with it. Yeah. And then if something's funny, like <laughs> like if I do a take and it's funny, and then I'll and I sometimes I laugh in the middle of it because I'm like, oh that was funny, and then I then I'll do it. Then it's like scripted, I guess, because yeah, the next time the next time through, I'm like, I gotta add that in there. And it's never as funny as the first time when it's authentic, but whatever. It's, yeah, no, it's it was enough. funny. No, it, yeah. was, it was definitely good And I enough. only had 12 hours for this. You know what I mean? It was literally like, talk to the guy at night, and he's like, you got to have a video tomorrow morning. And I'm like, done. We, you know what I mean? Less than 24 hours later, I had a video out there. And he did, yeah, so, and you did the right thing, because he didn't, he didn't like just call you out. He like, you know, he was like pretty fairly disrespectful about it. Like, I mean, I get yeah. that it's all 
you know, but he he was like, yeah, I, that was so random. I mean, no, I, no. I, no, no, it's 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 not random. I think everybody here knows it. He's a he's a degenerate gambler. <laughs> and, and after the last fight, Portnoy said he was gonna have to put like a fifty to hundred k bounty on your head. He said hundred, yeah. hundred, yeah. two hundred. And all yeah, of, and, and all of a sudden, this degenerate gambler comes out of the woodworks. Is like, I'll fight him. Like, yeah, no shit, you'll fight him. You gotta cover. You gotta cover a debt or something. Yeah. Like that's what it's all about. It's not random. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with these people that just like he's gonna get. I think he's gonna get the oh. shit beat. I think I mean, you're gonna beat his is. brains in yeah. the lobby. I really do. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm off not not just because you're here, but <laughs> yeah. like I really do think yeah. you're gonna beat the fuck out of yeah, him. Like for sure. I definitely think I'm gonna win. Like I'm not going into this fight to lose. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not taking him lightly. He was a fucking NFL athlete. Yeah. He was a no, no, a superstar for sure. athlete. Was he good? Yeah, he was nasty. Yeah, he was, he was always, and he was, he was, and he was all, a dirty ass player. Oh well, yeah, I was yeah. he was always suspended for like his conduct and like off oh, okay. off field issues. But you can't take away like he could ball. Like he was he ball. He, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he was he was a really good cornerback in the NFL like for years. I'm pretty sure he was he was a Pro Bowl player multiple years too. Right? Yeah, 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 he, he was. Yeah. yeah, he was nasty. I remember. I mean, he was in high. We were in high school when he was in the when he was like in his prime in the NFL, like yeah. 2007. You know, 2007, 2008. I think that was like the time or whatever. He's like 5'10", right? Yeah, he's same height as me. He's 5'10". Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he's no, the same so weight as you too, basically. Yeah, right? yeah, he is. No, he's, yeah, he's 170, right? No, no, no. He no. He he's 184, and Pac Man Jones 182. Why did he want you to drop? Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's what we need insane. to talk about. Yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, I, I hate know. that. Especially with the call out that he did. It should like he was like. <laughs> yeah. He sounded like he would fight you at any weight. I know. Yes. Yeah, in my, in my opinion, very strange move to call someone yeah. out and then demand they cut weight. That's what I messaged. Yeah. You, know, I, you know, I messaged. I told Joe. I messaged him on Instagram. And I said, "You don't fucking call somebody out and then de- demand they come down to your weight." And he and he, he messaged hope- me back and goes, "I'm the people champ. I do what I want." Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said that, and I go, "Yeah, you're the champion." You're shocked. He actually. I, no, responded. Yeah, I was like, "What the yeah. fuck?" Like, mad people are probably. That's messaging. funny. That like, means that means he's fucking thinking about it. It's funny that he responds to people. Like, you would think someone in his position would not respond to anyone. Like, yeah. that's like the rule. The first rule of being a celebrity is like. Don't respond to haters. Anyone. He's reading he all not, the comments. He does not care, dude. He responds because like he's like ten different people have told me the same story. Like, oh, dude, really? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, dude, he, he, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the fucking awesome. Yeah, he responds dude, he responded to, to Mike Kelly. He responded to a yeah, bunch dude, of people. Oh, Mike Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. I was just gonna say, I hope a bunch of people it's message crazy. him. Like most people would never like celebrities would never respond. He responds to everyone, I, which I actually kind of think it's think it's kind of cool. You're in his head. Well, I, yeah. yeah, that I think maybe a little bit, but at the or same I'm time. In his head. The fact that he's like responding to people, like that's just fucking crazy. Like, you know, nobody does that. Like, yeah. if you fucking message Jake Paul, he's not responding oh, to you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it'd be better. Yeah, I think, I think he's a little fucked. Obviously, he's not the same like level of like followers, but still, it's, it is crazy he's responding. But yeah, yeah, you're right. He, you gotta be a little bit fucked up. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He's clearly like a fucking yeah. Yeah, he, bad dude that, that like, yeah, he gets in trouble. You know what I mean? Like, if you said that to his face at a bar, he'd punch you in the face. You yeah, know I mean? yeah, like, yeah, he punches yeah. people in the face yeah, all the time. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, at the airport. Yeah. That's why I keep telling yeah. my friend. My friends keep talking shit to him on on social media. I'm like, you think this guy and his friends won't like beat the fuck out of you if they see you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I was already thinking. About I'm like, that. what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm fighting him in the ring, but like, that's not gonna save you guys if you come to the if you come to watch it and his friend sees you in the fucking crowd and is like, yo, you're the one who just said this X, Y, and Z to fucking Pac Man, punch you right in the face. Yeah. You know what I mean? My exactly. friends, some of them are like, oh, I didn't think about that. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this is, because they, they always talk shit to everybody I fight, yeah. which I always tell them not to. I see to. your friends in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always tell them not to. I'm like, dude, I'm like, leave them the fuck alone. But they talk shit to everybody. But I was like, dude, this isn't the same. I'm like, this is a different, Yeah. you know what I mean? Things have escalated a yeah. lot more now. Like, you can't, you can't talk shit. Yeah, These people now. you talk shit to are uh, dangerous people. Like, you don't want to fuck with. Like, so. Yeah. Yeah, one of the biggest like jokes that I repeatedly keep seeing in like comments involving this fight is like, like, oh, you're gonna have to fucking search fucking Pac Man Jones before he gets in the ring. Oh, yeah, <laughs> People are like always saying that. I'm like, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you probably, somebody probably should do that. I know. No, I, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think that. Would no, be a no, problem. I'm jo- no, I'm joking. No, I know, but I've read the same. I've yeah, heard people that keep same saying thing. it. People keep yeah, saying yeah, it. But no, I mean, it'll be interesting for sure. I don't like. Yeah, I, I guess not to get too personal with it, but like. Have you guys, have you talked anything about compensation? Like, I, I, are you comfortable saying what you would hope to at least expect well, to they, get paid for winning something even, like this? We haven't even begun talking about that yet. I know, I know that they're talking, I know they're still negotiating with Pac-Man, so I, and I don't know, any, they haven't told me anything. They just said, oh, we're still negotiating, so I don't know what that even means. All I know is that the, the main thing that they needed to, to, we needed to figure out before they even started talking about money was uh, what weight class we're going to fight at. Because he wanted to cut way more than and I than I was comfortable doing, so we were going
So we agreed on 175. So that's what we're going to weigh. See, I I feel like what he's doing is he knows he's like out of shape and gain some weight. So for him, the cutting's just going to be natural and he's just trying to take you out of your natural element. Like, yeah. I, I, I think that, that's, that's, that was my thought as well is that he's trying to make me cut the more weight I cut, the more like muscle I'm losing. You know what I mean? He's probably thinking he's going to like, yeah, handi- that's not really, he's going to handicap me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, cause I don't really have any fat on me. I'm like not being like a fucking hot but like, I, yeah, you're like walking I around. Work work out. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, what do you walk around at? 185. Oh, uh, like okay. one eighty around between like one eighty two to one eighty five range. In the weigh-ins of the night before, right? Yeah. Just cut water weight. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I mean, I gotta. That. I don't want to. That's the thing. It's when you do that. It like, I've never actually done like that drastic of a weight cut before. But everyone I've talked to, especially now, I've been like asking around people I know that have done it, and they're like, "Yeah, dude, it, it can like fuck with you. Like if you never, especially if you've never done it before, it can like, you, the next day you're gonna be like wicked fatigued. Like you know, what I mean, you lose a ton of energy yeah. and shit. Like. You feel very lethargic in the fight after from doing that. So, like, do that's what practice. I don't want to do. You can do it once for practice. That, I, I know people that, that was, do that. No, that, that is... If I was going to go that route, that's what I was going to do. But I'm just... Right now, I'm just going to... I'm just going to naturally lose a little bit of weight. So, that I, I'm going to show hopefully show up around, like, 180, and then I'll cut, like, five pounds. Oh, that's before. easy. Yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly. Yeah. yeah, so that's what... I, that's my plan right now. But it'll make you quicker, too. And yeah. that's just... That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference, to be honest. I, I mean... Whatever, we'll see what happens. I, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. A lot of people were like, "Dude, you shouldn't agree to do that." Like, you yeah, know I mean? feel like he was gonna back out. Yeah, there was, I feel no, like it was, it was only out. gonna happen if I, if I cut weight. That's what people don't realize. Like, there was no alternative. It was either the fight doesn't happen or I can cut weight. So I said, "Fuck it." This is like my big opportunity. I'm not blowing it over eight pounds. So yeah, I was yeah. like, "All right, I'll cut. No big deal." Did yeah. you ever imagine that somebody from the NFL was going to be the one that called you out? Or was it like did that ever any like an athlete like that? Did you ever think that? Ah, uh, or did you not even No. Think? I honestly, I didn't re- yeah, I, I thought it'd be a wrestler. Well, just cuz I called them out, I figured yeah. one of them maybe. And he did but, wrestle. We got to remember that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We talked he about might that, you yeah. might have hurt his feelings when you said that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That could be part of it. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't he, know. He wrestled twice and he was fucking but Didn't he win something? Like did Yeah, he... I mean it, the footage is fucking unreal. I oh, mean, it's, is it actually it, good? No, I mean I I don't know. Some people might think it's good, but it, I, yeah. I, I I can't fucking get into it. I don't know. Fucking uh Yeah, I didn't I never really thought I didn't really think much about I basically told the people at Boswell that run all this shit that I'd fight anyone that they got for me. Like, <laughs> That's so a good I, move. So I never really thought it'd be like, I didn't think that somebody was going to call me out, like uh, someone like uh, on his level of like, yeah, this is, a, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. Like I didn't think this would happen. I thought what would, I thought the way that was going to go down was they were going to like reach out to, cause they were like reaching out to people. Yeah. So I figured they were going to reach out to somebody and they were going to set it up with somebody. Like I didn't think anyone was going to like call me out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. So apparently like things escalated way quicker than we th- like, they were planning on, like, like the guy that I talked to was like, oh, yeah, we're, like, reaching out to all these different people trying to set something up. And then Pac-Man came out of nowhere and called me out. So they were just all, they were just like, oh, fuck, fuck all these other people. Yeah, yeah let's, yeah. let's fight. You know what I mean? They weren't even talking to him. He just did it out of nowhere. So. Have you but, talked to Pac-Man at all in any way, shape, or form? Yeah, I talked to him the other day. On the phone? Like. Yeah, he called me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. With the, like, got your number and called you, like, Well, he hit me phone? up on Instagram and was just like, oh, yo, okay. let's just, let's, let's just fucking, he basically was like, let's cut out the middleman and let's just talk, me and you. And I was like, wow. Right, yeah, so. Wow. Yeah. Everyone How did that go? How did that conversation was it cool? Go? Or it went good. Yeah, no, it was cool. It's, uh, fucking, he did. that was, we were arguing, that was when we were arguing about the weight. Obviously, you know, I posted a video on, my video got taken down. From the Bruins game, right? Yeah, the Bruins yeah. game. When I was, <laughs> oh, I was not taken down? Which, yeah. Which, that I was wasn't sh- even that bad. Yeah, that wasn't I was fucking for bullying, right? I was right? shit-faced when I did that. <laughs> Everyone kept telling me, no, they're like, Bobby, you're drunk. Because I was like, fuck this. That's no, perfect. And uh, I was like, I'm fucking responding right now. And I was with my friends, and they're all like, dude, don't, you're shit-faced. Don't, don't do it. It's going to be, it's going to come out stupid, and you look like an idiot. And I was like, I don't care. I'm, I thought I'm it was funny. It. I thought yeah, it was good, perfect. yeah. So I responded about the weight thing. Because he posted on a story. Calling me like a fat fuck, telling me like get my <laughs> he's like get your weight down or something, you fat fuck or something. I forget what he said. So you're only a heavyweight. Yeah, so nine, I, nine what the pounds. Fuck yeah. So I was like, I have to respond, and uh, so I just made a video real quick in the fucking stands at the Bruins game, and I got taken down for bullying, which is like hilarious. Like, <laughs> are you fucking, like I was. Yo, you legally bullied yeah, Batman yeah, Jones. Yeah. I don't think no, I, I don't think he reported it. He's not a fucking pussy. No, no I know, but yeah. like, who reported it? I have no idea. Some, somebody that? clearly. So, I, I mean, like got like. You know, a couple thousand views, I think, in like less than a fucking day. Like, so somebody clearly watched it and didn't like it and reported it. Well, it's not like one person can report it, it gets taken down, right? It's yeah, be I don't know, like, no the idea. ins and outs of how things get taken do down. I. I've never reported something before yeah. so either, so I don't know. But the point is, I made a video 
respond. The video before I got taken down was me responding about the weight thing, like being like, "Fucking, why are we gonna cut that much?" So the next day, that's why he messaged me to be like, "Yo, let's let's fucking talk." And then I obviously I talked to him on the phone, and he was just like, basically he was like, "Why can't you cut? Why can't you cut that much?" And I was just like, I was like, dude, like. I, that's just way more than I than I ever have at like I've never weighed that last you know what I mean I for me to get to that like I can't promise that I will even be able to you know yeah, what I mean all. like yeah. you said why do you have to cut that much yeah it's basically what we talked about like yeah. we kind of went back and forth and we obviously we didn't really come to an agreement then and then uh, the promoter the next day I, he the promoter got involved and long story short is we we came to an agreement on 175 that that's so but when he called I mean, you on the phone though was he like was it like a civil conversation was he like giving you shit no no it was civil he was just like yo what's the deal like why can't you cut that much weight and i was just like i was like dude like fucking i was like i had my shirt off cuz i was like in my boxes just at my house and i like i was like actually we so we facetimed and i was like I was like, <laughs> you showed him your butt. Well, yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like showed no, him my, and I yeah. stepped on the scale. I was in my room with this. I was, I was step on a scale right now, like, and I stepped on the scale, like on to prove that I yeah. was like, you know, I wasn't lying about my weight. I was like, because he thought I was heavier than I was like letting on. Like, I was like, dude, I'm telling you right now. A lot of people think yeah, you're heavier exactly, than yeah, you are. Yeah, that's what yeah. he thought. I, I was thought like, you were like 200. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's yeah, a good so thing. He though. thought I was like full. He thought I was like playing him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Acting like I was like way smaller than I was. I was like. Dude, no, I was like, I'm 183 pounds right now. Like, I'll, I'll prove it. And that's yeah. why, so I FaceTimed him. And then uh, I was like, look, I'm stepping on a scale right now. And I stepped on the scale and I showed the scale and it was 183 pounds. And I was like, see, I'm 183 pounds. Like, so bef- before that, did he want you to cut to something below 175? No, no. Yeah, 170. Oh, he yeah. wanted you to drop to 170. Yeah. So then, but then, he, so then I showed him, I was like, dude, I'm only 183 pounds. So he was like, well, why can't you? you can't go to 170. Like, and I was like, dude, I was like, I walk around like, wh- like this is the lightest I've ever been in my life. You know what I mean? I used, before I f- used to box, before I started boxing, I used to walk around over 200 pounds. I've just lost a ton of weight just from changing up my whole routine. You know what I mean? Like right now, what I currently am is like the skinniest I've ever been in my life. So like for me to get even skinnier, I was like, there's no way I can go to 170. Like I physically will not be able to. And I don't, even, I, was like, I, I don't yeah. even understand where he's coming from because like it's not like he's a fighter and is like this is he's like I've been I always fight at 170. I don't know. know I, I, I don't mean, know right? what the reason was. I'm just telling Strange. you guys asked. I'm just telling you what this is what the this is what the topic of our conversation was. The, yeah. the thing we debated about was the weight. And obviously we didn't really come to an agreement then. And then the promoter got involved and then he called me the next day. The, the promoter called me the next day and was like, hey, he agreed to 175. So I was like, all right, deal. Let's do it. 175. So I'm glad. I'm glad yeah. he came to an I'm glad yeah. you guys came to an agreement. You should, get more money, you should ask for more, more money because you're like, I'm cutting weight. Like, well, you don't even know. Yeah, what, but yeah, whatever. We'll I don't even, yeah, we haven't even talked to that about yeah. that yet. And even yeah. if we did, I probably wouldn't even be allowed to like talk about it anyway, but. I don't know. Really? I, I don't know what the rules are. Oh, so you are. know, so yeah. you know, you're just not going to. No, no, I really, I know, I know. Dead, I dead ass haven't even talked about it yet, but Damn. I'm saying even if I did, yeah. like next week, if we film an episode, even if I, do, let's say I do know at that point, which I probably will, you probably I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like asking, it's, it's like not. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you guys secretly, like off yeah. camera. Yeah, yeah. Know? And then I'll tell you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And you know, then you guys will just tell everyone. But you don't have, as of right now, you don't have like a date or anything like or location for that? No, the, the, that's the other thing. They don't have anything like that. Yeah. Like there's, they told me they're still trying to figure everything out. But it's gonna be soon because it, it yeah, it'll be the next rough and rowdy. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, yeah. So right. it, yeah, I mean, so they they happen a few. Yeah, times they're trying. They're working on setting it up like somewhere good. That's all they said is that they're looking at a few different venues or whatever. That but, shit's like the funnest night. I mean, I know you fight in it, so it's different for you. But yeah. It's like different from boxing or the UFC. Like it's and especially with that we have somebody from our town that fights in it. It just like is always the best like to party and watch. Oh yeah, like, I know. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I remember fucking before I was in it, I used to rent them all the time. Like every yeah. time, like me and my friends would rent them. It was cr- that's what made me like do it. I was like, I have to do this. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like watching yeah. them, I was like, I gotta, I'm gonna transform myself in next thing. Next time this comes around, I'm gonna be in it. It's funny because I remember like watching the kid Travis Terman fighting. He was like their champ, and I remember watching him like and thinking, someday I'm gonna fight that guy, and I'm gonna dethrone him. And it was just we- I had like a weird moment when like right when I was in the ring with him, like right before we like touched gloves or whatever, where I had like a I was like this is weird, like it's kind of like I like willed this into existence. Like yeah. <laughs> I remember like a year ago watching him and being like I'm gonna fight this guy someday, and then fast forward a year later I'm like in the ring with him, and I was like this is crazy that this yeah. I should have yeah. I should have willed something different. I should have willed like. I'm going to fucking hit the lottery. You know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think he, I think he did hit the lottery, yeah. dude. Not yet. But yeah, but I have to win this fight. Oh, you're gonna. If I win, then I think big things will come after that. But I gotta, I gotta sure. I'm not looking past that. I'm just looking. Yeah, yeah. This is it. You know what I mean? I gotta win this fucking fight. And yeah, the conver- after you win this, the conversations will be fucking exciting. Yeah, yeah and people, people will be all over you too. Oh, yeah, Portnoy yeah. said himself, like he said last time you won, he was like, "We gotta start promoting him now." Yeah. He's like the champion. Like you're five and zero now. Like yeah, it took him. Have a, to, it took eventually, him a while, they have to start yeah. really paying you. Yeah, he yeah, was well, like, can anybody beat Bobby Lane? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, that's he threw out the challenge, and obviously Pac-Man stepped up and yeah. accepted the challenge. So that's, Yeah, and we're gonna whoever to... Pac-Man owes a gambling debt to is ecstatic to see <laughs> yeah. fucking Pac-Man step up to the challenge. So. Yeah, so, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, all right, all right, that's all so... right, so I think we covered everything about that. Uh, yeah. so, did we, get, did no. we cover everything? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Any final thoughts can... on Pac-Man versus me? Or... Well, like, strategy-wise, what's you just going to go in there... Do what you regularly do? You yeah, gonna... I'm not going to give anything away on this. Yeah, yeah. He might listen to this. <laughs> well, he follows me on Instagram. I'm going to post this on my Instagram. <laughs> oh, sure. And he might, you know what I mean? Yeah, and if he's right. listening, oh, what's he's up, getting... dude? We're going to fight. It's going to be it's gonna be fucking sick. But I'm not going to give away anything on here. All, the only thing I'm giving away is that I agree, we're, we're fighting at 175, and that's it. We both agreed on it, and I'm going to have to oh, cut yeah. weight to 175. We're going to fucking do it. <laughs> Love it. Can we but, see his uh, airport fight, though? Oh uh, yeah, we can but, we can pull up his airport. Yeah, we got some. Yeah, we got some fight footage. So, wait, no, what else did he do? Did he? What happened at the strip club? Do you know what happened? Wait, what? I what else did he do? Like he's he did a lot of things. I went. I, I w- w- what? <laughs> How do you even get into a fight in an airport? Like it's literally the most low energy fight ever. What, what happened here? That's a big dude in the arm. Get into the, how does this happen? Oh, that a, yeah. He, well, the first thing oh, will knock him down. On. He beat the security yeah, guard. He, he beat him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guess what? Guess what? Definitely, definitely. And I see this all a lot, all the time in Street Fight videos. You gotta take your backpack off. Before you fight. <laughs> Wait, I don't, did he have his backpack on? Yeah, he's wearing his backpack. You gotta take that off before you fight. Like that, I see that. That's a common thing I always see. You know that guy went to jail for that. The security guard. Did he? Or? Yeah. That's kind of really. Funny. Yeah. Well, Why? what Not, the fuck happened? He hit. I guess he hit Pac-Man Jones first and. I don't know the details, so I don't want to say anything, but it's I, I, I don't know if Pac-Man Jones pressed speculate. charges. Somebody pressed charges. Well, the thing is this. The guy who's a security guy clearly works at the yeah. airport. Yeah. He's supposed you, to be protecting you're supposed people. To, well, <laughs> you should be held to like a higher standard because it's, yeah. you're, you're, it's, you're supposed to act professional. It's your job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you you can't just like decide I'm going to fight somebody in the middle of the airport if you work there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you work yeah. there. Like they Some security guards just, like, don't give no, a fuck. No, I know. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. What could yeah. have possibly happened there while you fight at the airport? Like, what the fuck yeah, could I don't have know. happened? I don't, I don't know. know. I need to know, though. Like, I'm, it's killing me. I mean, you can probably look it up. This was, like, <laughs> this was from, like, three years ago. Yeah. That's not that long ago. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm sure there's some information, like, on YouTube, I mean, yeah. uh, on Google about it if you, like, looked into it. You seen a video of him cheating in Blackjack? I no. Haven't, I haven't yeah. seen that. He, ba- no. he basically just, like, added to his bet. So he saw that he got a ten. Oh, so okay. So basically, like he's in good shape. He's got to sneak Is some chips casino? into his bet. So he added <laughs> more <laughs> chips to his bet, and then when they kicked him out, he like flipped the fuck up. <laughs> oh really? I didn't <laughs> see it. No, I didn't know that was even a thing. That's yeah, hilarious. I watched. Wait, was it at casino? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> we've already talked. I don't like talking about people that yeah, I'm, yeah. Got, that I'm going long. to fight. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, well, you didn't I'm say not, anything. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a type of person. I don't talk shit about people that I'm gonna fight. Like, we, I, no, we, we talk we, we shit talk for shit you. Yeah, yeah, we talk, talk shit yeah, for yeah. you. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. I don't. Bobby hasn't this, said anything. I already said more than I should have. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. I don't talk. I don't. I get you. I get in the ring and I fight people, and then we'll we'll see what happens. Actually, one one more quick thing. Not forget about Pac-Man, but one more quick thing before we change subjects. Do you get a lot of people like just hitting you up asking like to fight you because now I'm starting to get people hitting me yeah. up asking me to fight you and I'm, and I'm <laughs> like dude you to fight him? dude yeah wait wait you wait, no, asking you him? Fight people, 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 okay. people people are hitting him to get <laughs> people are hitting up people are hitting me up yo Justin hedge will you fight Bobby <laughs> no, no, no 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 people are hitting me up at hedge better and being like dude I want a shot at Bobby. Could you give me a fight with him? I'm like, dude, I don't know what you what? want. Dude, yeah. I was, dude, there's a kid, a kid. He started commenting on my shit. He started DMing me. Uh, he was do actually I, do su- I know him? Do I know no, him? I, I didn't know who he was. He was actually super respectful about it. He was like, hey, man, like, no disrespect. I know he's the champ. I just want a shot. I think I could take him. Like, blah, blah. I was like, 
Dude, I don't know what to tell you. Is he a legit <laughs> boxer, though? These people dude, don't know how this works. It's I not know, like, you, like, dude, dude, So, to answer your question, yeah, hundreds of, probably hundreds. Years, <laughs> maybe yeah. over a thousand people have messaged me to try. <laughs> dude, I, it's like every day I get a different kid like message me, like, you're a fucking pussy, like, let's set it up. And I'm like, buddy, who the fuck are you? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, exactly. no, obviously I'm not going to fight like some random fucking loser that nobody knows who he, who you are. Like, you know what I mean? Like people just want, like, people just want the attention. And it's crazy. Yeah, That's know. like the last thing that you care about. Well, and, and then some people will mess. Sometimes I usually don't even answer. Sometimes I'll, I'll randomly just decide like, fuck it. I'm answering this guy. <laughs> and I can't help myself. <laughs> and I'll be like, how many fights you have? And they'll be like zero. And I'll be like, then go fuck yourself. I go go get have a win a couple fights first, then talk to me. Like yeah. I won't drop names, but the kid who's been chirping you from that, our town, from our town, oh, I was yeah. dying. that's I was fucking dying. hysterical. Yeah, yeah. that's no, it was actually You're, funny. That I was don't, I don't I even mean, know. I didn't even know this kid was from our town the whole yeah. time. Serial killer. Did Joey show you? It was decently funny. Yeah, I showed him. I, was, yeah. I kept noticing his name, commenting on everything, and I'm like, who the fuck is this kid? And then I saw someone the other the day said he was from Braintree, and I was like. You fucking kidding me? Just get some brain tree and he's talking shit. Like, yeah, sharing for you like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> just trolling yeah, like, you on chance, this shit. Yeah, like there's a chance you guys will walk by each other. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't even recognize him if I did. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why? That's why he's me. counting. Yeah. Down. yeah, I want to ask. That's him, what, what I tell people thinking? too all the time. Yeah, people, what like, is he trying to gain from this? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, people they always message me. They want to and like, dude, they just want that like delusional too. It's like, oh, this kid's delusional. It's like, why? Like serial killer. I go okay. No, this is what I always say to people. I just this is my new, my comeback when they say they want to fight me is I just send them the sign up page for Rough and Rowdy. I go, all right, here I go. Here's a sign up page for Rough and Rowdy. I go, fight in Rough and Rowdy and win a couple fights, and then maybe they'll you'll get to fight me. I'm like, I'm the fucking champion. Like you don't just get to fight me yeah, first. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and they'll be like, no, and they'll be like, no, fuck that. I just want to fight you. And I'm like, okay. Then you clearly don't want to fight me that bad because I'm I'm. It's like I'm. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't force him to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. you're saying you want to fight me. I'm giving you the tools to sign up. Like, <laughs> this is how you sign up. If you sign up and you fight and you do good, then they'll have you fight me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but you have to, like, prove yourself. You can't just, like, come in off the street and fight exactly. me. Like, I am baffled. Unless, <laughs> unless you're a famous NFL football player, yeah, yeah. then they'll let you come in and yeah, fight me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So unless that you're works. an athlete, a pro athlete, or a famous celebrity of some sort, you're not just coming in and fighting me. You know what I mean? But they'll obviously make exceptions if you're if you get a blue check mark next to your name. They're gonna let you fight. Yeah. Me. It's just but. people. People see like they see you're just like a pretty normal kid from Braintree. I would say I'm pretty normal. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And people are like see that and they're like, yeah, you know, I I could like maybe they box a little bit and they think like that that I could do that. Yeah, it's like, wait, well, you have to fucking do it, and you have to like. Yeah, you can't just jump. Yeah, the you, fucking yeah you can't just comment on fucking Instagram and set up a fight. Yeah, that's what. The, like, that's the other thing. You I made funny videos for the past few years through yeah. Rough and Rowdy, and that's a, it's not like you just signed up and they automatically picked you. Yeah, I know. It, it, like, that's what I tell people. I'm like, you have to fucking go through like the the same process that I went through. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I didn't fucking get picked in Rough and Rowdy by messaging previous fighters <laughs> and being you know, like, fight me. Yeah, I signed up. You just fought a I random fought, kid. I signed up and fought a random kid, and then I won, and then they had me fight another kid, and I won, and then I kept fighting. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I just, I don't know what people, the delusional. It's just funny. Yeah, yeah, not to mention, it is a sport, but it's also like fighting. So, like, it's not really something. Like, it's not like you're messaging people and like, dude, I think I could fucking beat you in basketball. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like you're saying you could beat him up. It's yeah. like, dude, some people might take that personally and beat the shit out of you. Yeah, no, I've, I've told a lot of people sometimes, I'm, I'm like, I usually don't even respond, but. Sometimes I just like can't help myself, and I'll be like, "All right, buddy." I'll cl- if I click on their name and they're from Massachusetts, I'll be like, "All right, buddy, come to fucking Southside Brain Tree, like, right? <laughs> like, like, because that's where I hang out all the time." So yeah. I'm like, "You want to fucking do?" I'm like, "Come in here and call me out, and I'll go out in the parking lot and beat the fucking shit out of you." How's that sound? Like, you want to be a tough guy? And they're like, "Yeah, okay." Like, me, like, and they always have like ten excuses. Uh, come to fucking Worcester. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah I'm not. Worcester, yeah. I'm not going looking for you. You're the one messaging me, you fucking loser." Like, yeah, yeah. People are mental. Exactly. People are mental. And it's like, you know, I'm not going to recognize you either. Like, you're just some fucking random kid on Instagram messaging me. Like, I don't fucking know who you are. Yeah. Like, you should be like Kimbo Slice though, and just start just going the backyard. Honestly, I might. If this doesn't yeah, pan dude, out, maybe I'll just start. Maybe I'll start my own fight league where I just beat up all the people that have mess- <laughs> all the people that have messaged so me. Many- I have them all There's- saved. I never delete messages. I'll go through and find every single person that messaged me, and I'll just one by one go. Hey, we can get it going. I guess. <laughs> I, I guess someone will add this dude to dude, the list right now, out. dude. Can- he was. Oh, where you going? He right wanted now? it. He, no, he wanted <laughs> it, dude. He, dude, he, legit, he wanted it. Yeah. Like he kept. At least he, he was respectful. Me up, dude. No, he actually. No, he, he was being respectful about it. Once in a while, I got yeah. one like that. That I, those kids are cool. Like 
kids that actually box or actually fight MMA and shit, like, that are like, hey, what's up, man? You're like, I've seen all your fights. Like, I would like to fight you someday. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like that's, a fucking that's, samurai. That's, I got no problem with that. You know what I mean? That is trying to, like... He's just respectful. With, yeah, like, ready to fight. yeah, like, hey, you're, like, you're a good, you seem like a good dude. I've watched your fights. I want to fight you... Like, how can we make that happen? Like, yeah, that's, that's cool that they're that's, nice, but that's still, it's still, weird. Weird. Well, it's still like, I'm just hey, like, dude, yeah, really uh, it doesn't really work like that, but like, <laughs> yeah, dude, you got to contact him. I just, I, same thing. I just send him the sign up page and say, sign up and go from there. Yeah. Like, I don't know. What and now it's getting to the you. point where like, ever, basically most of the people in Rough and Rowdy, like for the most part, know what they're doing. You know what I mean? Like a lot All of the people, people in the main cod do. Yeah, exactly. At first that's, it was That's like, like how the thing is, the format is the undercard is usually just like. First Slops. timers, yeah, guys that yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, literally. That's how everyone prepared. starts out. You have to, you have to fight like you just go there and fight, and then if yeah. you do good, then they invite you back. If you don't, then see you later. So the Emma card is usually made up of all those guys, and then the main card is always like the regulars that you see in every single one. Like they're the reason yeah. that they're always back is because those are the kids that actually can fight. <laughs> Speaking you know I mean? of uh, clowns that are just looking to get clout fighting, we're gonna do you it. Got okay, some, yeah, you got some, you got yeah, some yeah, yeah. We talked about all this uh, shit. This is yeah. really the last thing that's going yeah, on. Yeah. And we might as well just talk about Since it. Since there's no real fights this weekend, let's talk about these fucking well, clown I don't even... TikTokers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when is, wait, what's the date? Is it, it's like uh, two weeks or next week. Let me find out. I have the I have the thing up on my phone too. So. There's a zero percent chance I'm watching this. This no, I might. I'm not paying. I'm not paying money, but I might watch it. There will be a shit. I don't. This is gonna be. All right, actually, so I went down like a YouTube rabbit hole the other day, and I actually watched a bunch of these fucking guys. I don't even know who they are. Obviously, I'm 29 years old. I don't watch fucking TikTok shit. And, yeah. like, you, you know what I, I mean? Do. But okay. <laughs> I watched three hours of TikTok. But I watched a, I watched a couple of them like training, and they look horrible. Oh yeah, I know. Well, yeah. Like I watched Bryce Hall sparring with someone, and he and he just. He looks. Yeah, he like tries to wrestle. He looks brand new. That's my that's new. my number one prediction. My number one prediction is that that dude Austin McBroom. I know nothing about him. He's gonna fucking destroy. Of all off. of all the people I watched like training on this stupid fucking TikTok versus YouTuber cod, that kid Austin McBroom was the only one that looked like he had like any skills. Did you oh, see him yeah, training? I didn't see him training. Yeah, there's a video of him. He actually looked good. I didn't even know this. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, there's a video of him hitting the mitts or something. And I hope he knocks Bryce Hall out. Is he British? Yeah, I'm down. Uh, yeah, I think so he is British. Down? He is. Yeah, British. I think he's gonna knock Bryce Hall out because from what I saw, just the two minutes of I would love that. Yeah. Video that I watched, Bryce Hall looks like an absolute fucking child. Like but the, the way Bri the way Bryce Hall behaved at the, at the thing was, was just somebody that crazy. needs to get knocked out. That was what I was gonna he say. He needs next. to get knocked like, out. He, like he hundred percent. He that was most like, it's like dude, you know you're safe too. I would that's say so act like you've been there before, but they haven't been there before, yeah, so that's yeah. why they don't know how to act. But yeah. it's like dude, you don't fucking fight the guy at the fucking stare down. Yeah, and you don't wrestle you know I mean? him. You don't yeah. wrestle. You go for a double leg takedown and you're going to box the guy? What? Yeah, that, that was the other thing, too. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah he like yeah. tried to like street fight him. Like, yeah, it's like, he tried to wrestle Sick him. moves, bro. Uh, you can't do that he in did the wrestle, boxing though. match. Yeah. That no, I know. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's why his go-to is to try to take him down. But it was just stupid. It's probably scripted. All the sh all the stupid shit is scripted now every nowadays. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I can't feel even, like, I, know what to believe, but... I feel like this shit is so unprofessional that it's not even scripted that they just like threw these kids on like a day's notice into the fucking same yeah, room and filmed it kind it, of it looked he he looked so no, embarrassing you're right he was it was embarrassing to yeah because i watched it and i was like this is embarrassing like, yeah why you if that was scripted he would have been like no two seconds worth like they talk shit for like one second and then he's like you got so butthurt that you yeah. tried to tackle the guy started fucking freaking <laughs> yeah. out yeah, 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 yeah like, he had to be yeah. like planning that in his head like it's like yeah, dude he, he wanted, wanted to do that, wanted like, to do that. Are you not used to fucking people talking shit to you you're fucking famous like yeah everybody talks no, they, are, <laughs> they get bullied that's the price you pay bullied every day dude that reminds me i saw the funniest video ever of uh of, i think it was bryce hall um he's at a party or something and they fucking somebody steals his hat yeah, oh, was that, the frat kid yeah, stole his hat. That was that fucking That happened hilarious. like two weeks ago. I didn't see the video, yeah, but I heard I about it. I have no idea. We I was like, yeah, I so watched that. Like, I'm like, I don't condone bullying people. No, like, I do. I do. But when it's a <laughs> when it's a TikToker, like, I'm all for it. <laughs> what happened? He got bullied at a frat. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody stole got, his hat. He showed up thinking he was like the man. Like, everyone's gonna be like, oh, oh Bryce Hall's gonna whoa. suck my dick. I'm Bryce Hall, and these kids are just like, fuck this loser, and they and they go, hey, stole. They copy the Jake Paul's thing, and they. Stole his hat and he's like, Give me my hat back. And they're just like, Fuck you. Like, they like laugh him out of the potty. He gets in his car and takes off. Like, that's it. It was Ferrari. It's like, Yeah, off. maybe if you showed up at a potty full of girls, they'd all be like, Oh my God, you're TikTok. A bunch of dudes don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I mean, dude, the reality is, is even like, like actors and actresses, like those people were just like the same as Bryce Hall when they were kids. Like, they're all just like people that in that. Mean? 
They just cringe, like you know Douche what I mean. Bags. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, we just have the more. Like, yeah, I mean, obviously, okay. there's some cool actors. Yeah, like, I don't know. Right? All I know is that, like, he's famous for. I don't even know what he's famous he's for. He's a wiggle he just, like dances like, with his shirt. He dances off. and does it, with his shirt. Shit. Up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's so cringed. And he's like, yeah, and, he's, and he thinks he's a tough guy, and he's like. Wrestle, apparently wrestled. No, he and, sucked it though. I've seen videos of him where it's like Bryce Hall sucks at wrestling in high school. Oh, really? He just gets wrecked. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just funny. But yeah, I think he's gonna get. I think he's gonna get knocked the fuck out because the dude he's fighting. Yeah, I do too. Not that the dude he's fighting is good by any means. Like he's none of them are good. They all look like pathetic. there was a video of like ten of them all training together, and I felt like I was watching like a cartoon, like of like. Like a parody, Misfits. yeah. It was like, a parody a, it was like, like the yeah. muddy, the muddy ducks of boxing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you rounded to, up the fucking, rounded up a bunch of fucking. You scrubs. mean to tell me that this guy doesn't instill fear into your hearts? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, Bryce Hall. Oh God, <laughs> this guy. Oh no! Can they see? Can is this is this being recorded right now? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, okay, but how do how do the, three grown the, men how does this, do this? How is how does that <laughs> make you no? But like no, but, but, could you imagine you like one of your friends like, hey, let's all take our shirts off and start dancing? Like you'd be like, what the fuck are you talking yes, about? Yes, but if they were like, you're gonna get, you're gonna make a ton of money. I'd be like, all right, I'll take my pants off too. You get what you please. We buy my get not the fuck. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, no, but you gotta understand. He has to do this. That was how did these people be? Become what they are. Like, I don't know. Dude, no, I actually if don't I, know. If I, I just started know. making videos of me dancing with my shirt off, <laughs> what's the what is the, uh, the formula to getting like six million views? And I think videos? it's because the youth is so fucked. Like this is the thing. Same thing with the Jake Paul fights. Like everybody our age is like, I'll never fucking buy another Trilla fight again. And even with this YouTube shit, no, like nobody I know is gonna be like, yeah, you buying that fucking pay per view. But guess what? Fucking millions of people are in the dead series about no, it. And I'll watch those kids slap box each other. They're like, like, they're other. They're like yeah, 12 sure. years old. Dude, the market is for like children. It's going to be 12 year olds like, Mom, please. Yeah. Please let me rent yeah. this. No, I need to see. Yeah. He's my price. Hall's my hero. I need to see. Please, oh Mom. Oh I swear I'll take out the trash. I'll do my laundry. Like, <laughs> That's exactly like, oh, My mom's so. I hate her. She won't give me a credit card to watch Bryce Hall. <laughs> like, those are their fans. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, cause listen, I've I've watched the Jake Paul fights, obviously. Like, yeah, I'm just interested because I actually think he's decent. He is. So, like, yeah, no, he is. I, I, and this, they have real good, they have good fights boxes, on yeah. the card leading up to him. So it's like a good, like I think the concert shit that Trilla does is ridiculous. Like, I love I don't, the musical performances. No, but see, I, I'm the only one. I don't. That no, I, know. I love the last one. That last. Yeah, get into the, the, the musical dude, performances. Dude, I fucking love that. Paper. Dude, <laughs> the <laughs> last one was a, was a fucking concert with with fight sprinkled. Yeah, yeah. I loved everything. But I love fights. Yeah. They, gotta, they, gotta, <laughs> they gotta do less music, more fights. Yeah, yeah but maybe. you know what? It was smart as fuck because the 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 one we watched, uh, the one I watched, like a, whatever, was like a month or so ago when we threw it on. Like it was only like a few dudes, and there was like rest were girls there. And like we put it on, and the girls all fucked with it because it was all just music. They were all yeah, dancing Justin and shit. Bieber. And then we were like, we were like, all right, we're we gonna throw on boxing. And they're like, no. And then we turn it on. It was just a fucking concert. They were like, okay. And they enjoyed it. So like they're kind of smart, dude. They do something oh, to everyone yeah, at the fucking yeah, party, like yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, if, the girls if, and children. But, yeah, but yeah. if if you're just trying to watch a fight, <laughs> you you shouldn't buy it. I no. felt like I watched three hours of fucking like Justin Bieber concerts. And yeah, shit. for sure. To watch one minute of boxing. <laughs> oh, and Pete Davidson being the Joe. Oh, Rogan Pete Davidson her. was an absolute loser. <laughs> dude, he's what, the worst dude color? ever, yeah, he, dude. He's, he thinks he's so fucking cool. I fucking dude, hate he's him. Awful. Like, he's awful. Dude, no, here's, he's the, here's my uh, gripe with him. He is a fucking comedian slash actor. Why does he? But he acts the way he dresses and acts. He acts like he's like a punk rock star. You know what I mean? He, he acts like Machine Gun Kelly. Because that's his best friend. Oh, they're literally best friends. I didn't even friends. know that. I, yeah. Have you seen his stand-up? Up? Yeah. Look at that. I didn't even know they're that. They're actually best and friends, I just yeah. compared <laughs> them yeah. because he acts, <laughs> he dresses and acts just like him. That's crazy But it's like, guess what? That. He's actually like a fucking rock star and like rapper. You, you're a comedian. Like, you don't, he doesn't. He's like a poser. It's like you're trying he's to not be even a comedian. Yeah. I don't know. Is it he's act? Not, no, no, he's done stand up. I know it's awful. But, I, if you <laughs> think his stand up's funny, I don't want to hang out with I'm just saying, him. Why are you? Why are you doing I'm fucking? Serious. No, his was, clips are brutal. I don't know. He's just a poser. Like you, yeah, like you're not a fucking punk dude. You're not fucking Tommy Lee. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. he's trying to act like he's like this fucking crazy. Like it's like dude, you're a fucking actor. Like Ariana <laughs> fucked him up, dude. When she yeah, broke yeah. out, yeah, he snapped when she when she dumped him. The other, the other killed. But the other thing I will say about him that I lost, like, all respect for him is the fact, because he goes in there and he's, like, interviewing Jake Paul, which, not, like, yeah, he was, not, like, like sticking up to him, but it was, like... He was showing Jake he Paul went, way too yeah, hard. No, then he went, but he was, like, doing... Sucking his dick. And he was, like, sucking his dick, dick kind of, 
And then he went right into Ben Astrid's room and was like, well, I hate that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, but he was like, I hate him. Yeah. We all hate him. Like, it's like, so you're a fucking pussy. Like, yeah. that's, that's just a little coward move. Like, oh, I'm going to go in there and like do this little fake interview. And then I'm going to go into the next guy's room and talk shit about that guy in this interview. Like, that to me is like the most cowardly. I get it. He's not a fighter. He's a fucking actor. Fake, but yeah. have you ever like, seen it? That's if, just a cowardly little weasel move. If I was, yeah, I would have loved if Jake Paul found out and just went into the fucking room and knocked him the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. just shit on Jake Paul. Yeah, I would respect him so much if he just went in and just started shitting on Jake. Paul. Oh, if yeah. he was just like, I'm not interviewing this guy. I don't like him. Like, you know what no, I mean? but he definitely likes. But him. he's like, oh, I need, I need to get. A, I'm gonna make it this all about me and get attention on me. Yeah. Now. So I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna troll him and then go. You know, what I mean, talk shit about him on the. The whole thing, I was just like, this is awkward to even watch. I felt like, I was like, this is awkward. Dude, I watched one scene, one scene from the King of Staten Island on YouTube. (laughs) And I know his dad died in 9-11, so it's like, whatever. But that was the, that was like, dude, whoever, whoever was like filming that behind the camera and allowed that to like go on, I would have been like, dude, this guy needs to leave and never come back to a fucking Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. He just he he, he, like acts in movies. He's the worst actor that's ever lived. I'm not even kidding. (laughs) He's so bad. I can't even watch it. Yeah. It's literally awful. I actually heard that was a good movie. <clears throat> Maybe it was. I don't know. I, I watched yeah. one scene from it. And it just know. it just looked like he was on the set of SNL. Like, I don't even. I don't even dislike him as an actor. Like oh, I the hate things him. he's in, I, I I like. I'm just his behavior off camera, like or not. Actually, it's on camera, but you know what I mean. Not yeah. when his when he's being just himself. Who he is as a person. Yeah. Yeah. You hate. I don't. <laughs> I'm like. You know what I mean. It was it was really just the Jake Paul thing, like yeah. and like I'm not like the biggest fan of Jake Paul at, by any means, but I just yeah. thought that was such a cowardly little pussy thing to do to go in there and like interview this guy and act like you like cool with him and then go right behind his back and be like I don't fucking like that guy, he's a fucking loser, blah blah. blah. It's like yeah. you're a pussy. Say it to his face and he'll knock your fucking teeth out. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So and he called Ben Askren a tool before. To Jake, and then oh, he goes, he? and then yeah, he goes, yeah. yeah this Ben oh. Askren guy's a real tool. Oh, so he was just even like, though every, everyone I, wanted Ben to win. Yeah, I didn't. And even then know. he goes to Ben yeah. and goes, yeah, everyone hates Jake Paul. It's like, all right, so he pick yeah, a side. He should have picked a side in the beginning. Yeah. That was fucking yeah. You're right. They clearly didn't like. They must have just told him, yeah, you free reign to do whatever you want. Because I feel like they would have been like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know one person that liked that. You know what I mean? Like everyone I talked yeah, to, everyone yeah, everyone hated it. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. Who told you that was a good idea? Also, if I was fighting, like in that. That guy was interviewing me. I'd be like, "Get this guy the fuck out of my dressing room!" Like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, trying to get right. ready for my fight. Like, I, yeah, I don't give yeah, a I fuck. To throw interview. you off. It's yeah, hey, slim you're about, to go, like you're about to go on in ten minutes, but hey, uh, Pete Davidson has a few questions for you. <laughs> like, I'd be like, <laughs> "All right, uh, get the fuck out." Like, he has like the most punchable face, and he paints his fingernails black, which I hate. Yeah, that, I oh, that goes back to the machine po- gun him being a poser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. hey, yeah. machine gun Kelly, what's cool? Oh, you do it. And it's like, yeah, it's cool when he does it because he's actually like a fucking. Like musician. rock star musician. Yeah. You're you're a fucking actor on SNL. Like you don't yeah, I'm so deep and edgy, I'm gonna paint my nails black. Like yeah. you're a fucking loser. I agree. Yeah. I wanna fight him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call cool. him. Yeah. Yeah. You got that? Yeah, the after official <laughs> Pete Davidson call Yeah, up. after I'm done with Pac-Man, I want fuck Pete Davidson if you ever we see We just this. show Pete Davidson for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> after that Pete Davidson shows up, he's fucking like secretly yeah. ripped and he's like, yo, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. The black nails were. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have looked into the black nails. Like, hey, Davidson ripped. They you fooled to me. Shreds. Yeah. <laughs> he threw me off with his fucking painted fingernails. So oh, um, after Floyd Mayweather beats Logan Paul, you think Jake Paul is gonna fight Floyd what do you Mayweather? Mean? What do you mean? Logan's gonna win. Absolutely not. <laughs> There's a zero percent chance that. Who was no. uh, Who who was like the boxer or fighter that? was clearly paid to go on camera with him the other day and be like, oh, he's going to beat him father time. Oh, 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 uh, oh that's fucking, uh, oh, that I, dude, that dude's a beast, but he's kind of like, oh, 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 Ryan Garcia. Yeah, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, yeah I, I couldn't Ryan believe, Garcia. I yeah. couldn't believe that. Yeah, but he, like, like, he, he doesn't okay. actually he's a, he believe, does not believe He doesn't that. believe yeah, it. He does no, not, no. There's a 0% chance he believes that. He got paid to do that. He looked like he believed it. I'm pretty sure Ryan Garcia has a beef with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, probably. Maybe that's, Because, uh, who the fuck is it? Um, Tank Davis, he wants he wants to fight him, and no, no, other way around. Tank Davis wants to fight Ryan Garcia, yeah, and Ryan Garcia like has is acting like he wants to, but he like hasn't signed a contract killed. or whatever. They're They're killed. He's dodging him basically, and he Davis is under Mayweather promotion, so I'm pretty sure there's a big oh. like feud going on there. So that that's sense. why he said that. There's no way he actually believe. he's just he's just trying to like throw shade at Mayweather. Definitely, uh, Tank Davis will fucking kill Ryan yeah. Garcia. I mean, I don't, I don't know either. I think they're both good. People like, hate on Ryan Garcia, but I he, think he's he a beast. Can, yeah, he can fucking yeah, fight. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think he's a good, good. So I don't. Well, know. He's like twenty-one and I'm not gonna. 
Yeah, but so like, who knows? They, who, everyone's undefeated. We've yeah. talked about yeah, this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. all undefeated. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But it's one undefeated guy fighting another undefeated guy. The point. All I'm saying is, I don't know the whole details. I'm just, be, I'm just spitballing here. But I'm pretty sure him, him saying that Logan Paul's gonna win was fake, fake as fuck. It was just yeah. him. But it was him trying to just like, like throw shade at Mayweather because he knows that because he's with Davis or whatever. I mean, dude, Mayweather, Mayweather, like, dude, I, I like. I've seen Logan Paul talk about this fight, and he like he knows he's, he's gonna lose. No, he says the same thing. He's like, I can hit him with one shot that will take him down. I'm like, it's no, not you, gonna yeah, you can't, you can't, <laughs> yeah, you can't he's the best defensive fighter. One <laughs> of the best defensive fighters that ever that lived. Dude you in can't, the face. It's impossible. Realistically, though, he would have to be. You would just have to get physical. He has to like grab. I don't know. It's not gonna happen. But he has yeah. to like grab him and just. Like, Mayweather's gonna beat him up. It's it's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna yeah, be. No, a, but, it's a circus show. Listen, it's like an old circus. You can fight. sit there all day and say like coulda, woulda, shoulda. Like, oh, I if I hit him, yeah. I could yeah. knock him out. It's like, yeah, but you're not gonna. You yeah. can't. You're my not fucking gonna hit. It doesn't matter how hard you hit if you can't hit the guy. If my yeah. grandmother had balls, she'd be my grandfather. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 If I hit him, I'd knock yeah. him out. Yeah, you gotta yeah. fucking hit him. Like, yeah. and you probably wouldn't. You literally yeah. probably would not. <laughs> no, dude, dude, what if he wins though? There is a there is a zero percent chance Logan Paul. Even lands a good punch on Mayweather, that, yeah. Let alone beat but, him. But I kind of, I want to, I, I want to find out. The, win. I want to find out the odds for like the like. Because obviously you're not six thousand. Well, I'm not just taking Mayweather for the fight, but because it's probably like minus two thousand or something, right? Oh, it's my, yeah, I heard it's, it's like it's, minus like ten thousand. Yeah, I wouldn't even ten thousand. It. It's something. I'm, I'll put a dollar. It's on like a <laughs> complete like you cannot even bet on it type situation. Well, no, yeah, no, but I, that's what I was saying. I was saying I, I, I'm curious to find out what the odds are for like specific rounds. And but shit that like basically that. guarantees that Floyd Mayweather is going to win because you know, ve- like with all the people with those odds, oh, there's, there's going to be a bunch of retards. A million, on Logan Paul. Yeah, there's going to be a million people that are like, oh, me. I'll throw, I'll throw twenty bucks on, I'll throw twenty bucks on Paul. Jake just said that. That's what that's what I'm saying. So with all the people that are going to do that in the odds at, that they're they not, are, they're not going to let Logan Paul. Dude, if he won, Vegas would lose like bajillions. Yes, of dollars. you know what? Like, they're not going to. That's more that. reason like, that he won't win. That's yeah. what I'm saying. There's yeah, no yeah, way he's going to fucking yeah, win. Yeah, that's more of a reason. Exactly. Like, Floyd Mayweather is locked. Yeah, but I'm saying Vegas, living, Vegas, like, Vegas ne- do you think Vegas gets things wrong that no. bad? Like, no, they're so good at they them never, making odds. It's they ridiculous. very rarely make big mistakes like that. Exactly. exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, once in a while, like something, they don't, they don't have it like, down to a science and they lose money. But like yeah, if Floyd was only they make money ninety nine percent of the time. Yeah. If like, Floyd was only like minus like four or five hundred, I'd be like, hmm. Yeah, some, yeah what's up with that? But if he's yeah. like my if he's like minus nine thousand, like yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, I don't think it's, that's I a don't done think it, deal. I think it's like two thousand. Even it's, still, it's two thousand. Like, like, like I keep saying it. We need like a fucking fact checker on this show. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's usually me. It's usually me. Can we see the odds? I'm curious. Let's let's I'll try to find it right now. But like looking at this as if just like size, how big is Floyd gonna be going into this fight? Oh, tiny. I mean, but like All right, Mayweather's six, minus no. sixteen hundred. Not even. So okay, right here is something though that I always look at. I'm just from a sports gambling perspective. I always look at this. Okay, when it comes to the money line, yeah, see, I told you. if it's super disproportionate, that always sets a bell off in my head that something's up because if one fighter is minus sixteen hundred. The other fighter should be anywhere from like plus twelve hundred to like plus two thousand so in a reasonable range. No, 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 no. The minus is always What's, higher than the plus. No, no. Yeah, always. yeah, but it's, yeah, that's what he's saying. He's saying minus sixteen hundred, you get like plus twelve hundred. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah. You said plus but what is? But he's plus, plus seven hundred. So that's yeah. such a large difference. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's like sure. super disproportionate. That's weird. Wait, so now what you're saying? Like, you're like saying I'm, I'm, I'm saying, Logan's I'm saying, win? I'm no. I, yeah, Logan's gonna win. I'm just saying, if if Mayweather is minus sixteen hundred, you would expect Paul to be like plus eleven hundred, plus twelve hundred, not plus seven hundred. That's literally less than half. Dude, so okay. you're saying, no, no, but what wait, fights? So you're, is, what, so you're playing devil's advocate now. I'm you're playing devil's advocate yeah, yeah, that there's something weird with those odds. But with fights, it's different. No, from but sports. I, at the same time, though, I'm I'm thinking that they're probably like, well, there's a zero percent chance Logan Paul wins, but. In the you know I guess it's not zero. If there's a one percent chance he wins, so we're not going to get let guys bankrupt us. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now that's telling me that they give him like a one percent chance to win because they give him they give him a little more credit than we expected. Is what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm hammering Logan Paul. They're saying that that one punch (laughs) is possible. Yeah, like they don't want people (laughs) just throwing twenty bucks on him and winning fucking eight hundred dollars a pop, and they got to pay it out times fucking hundreds of thousands of people that do it. Like, yeah. What if Logan Paul beat Floyd and then he fought Jake and then Jake beat him? Mayweather. <laughs> no, Jake's gonna fight Floyd though, probably. Yeah, yeah but once, just, once, he beats, once he beats Logan, 
And Jake's way tougher than Logan. What do you mean once Logan beats Floyd, you mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has to, Jake's he has way to tougher back. than Logan. He's a way better fighter. It's, like, not even close. I mean, yeah. obviously, we don't have, like, that much evidence, but... No, we do. The, actually, Logan Paul's you guys, you, you guys see... Uh, this is actually funny at the start of this. Um, all right, so there was, like, video of, like, uh, a YouTube video of Logan Paul sparring all the Gronk brothers. I did oh, see that. Really? Yeah, I saw one. Of, I saw one of those Gronk brothers out at um, a bar last weekend in Boston after the Bruins game. Oh, what do you say? I went up to him, and I was like, hey, I was like... Let me ask you something. I was like, did I was like, was that shit real or was that scripted? Like, is Logan Paul actually good? Like, did he really fuck you guys up like that, or was that just like for show? And he was like, Nah, dude, for real. Like, he's like, you. He's like, for real. Like that kid's like trains. Like he's like, obviously we're all big, but like that kid trains like crazy. If you don't train like that, like you're not gonna be able to. F-. And I was like, Are you just saying this to me because I'm some random guy? Did you know who you were? And, no, he didn't know. No, he didn't know me. No. I was like, you just saying this to me because I'm some random guy. He's to contractually buy. obligated. Yeah, to and I, was, yeah right. I said that. I was like, you signed an NDA, you signed an NDA or something. Yeah. And I was like, just tell me if if you if you can't tell me the truth, just tell me to fuck off, and I will. I was like, I'm just really curious. And yeah. he was like, No, I swear to God, he's like, not about. We all thought we were gonna fuck him up because we'd be like way bigger than him. And yeah, but it's not like they fight. Just, yeah, I know. He was like, we just learned like the hard way that this kid's a fucking. He's like, he trains every day of his life, and he's a fucking beast, and he fucked us all up. Like, he probably does. Yeah. And he probably does. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Tra- so, Floyd Mayweather has trained every day of his life for a very long time. Now. No, when you have money like that and you yeah, don't we're talking, work. About Lo- we're talking about the Logan Paul versus Gronk thing. What does that have to do? With- you say wait, well, wait, no, you- no, because you, you, now you're giving Fl- oh, Logan a little more credit. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am giving him more credit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, but. We're talking about a kid who's trained for three years versus somebody yeah, who's exactly. trained for, since, for since, 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 since he was, he was like the five. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, this is a completely different level. Yeah. You know what what I mean? is the weight difference, though? Do we know the exact weight difference? Yeah, it's like 50 pounds. Yeah, that's that got, that's a lot. But still, yeah. no, <laughs> if it wasn't Floyd Mayweather, that would be a fucking a huge... Yeah, that'd Floyd's going to beat him up. Yeah, well, it's going to be hilarious. I beat someone with 70 pounds on me. Yeah. You don't think Mayweather can no, beat no, someone with 50 pounds on that jeans? Terman, no, Terman. Oh, yeah, Is that jeans? Yeah. Okay, I'm saying, if I can beat someone with that much bigger than me. Yeah, but you don't think the best boxer in the world can beat someone that much bigger than him? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah, fucking yeah, Logan doesn't have yeah. a heart condition like fucking <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> either way. You beat somebody what? up with a heart condition? No, no, no I'm just kidding. No, what, was, what was his excuse? He had some f- bullshit he's, excuse. His excuse was that he gassed out and he just was saying... He's just, he's just fat and retarded? He was, nah, he's, he's a good dude. I'm not gonna talk shit nah. about him. Well, okay. I, 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 I actually like him. I'm friends with him, but I'm not, so I'm not gonna talk shit about him. But yeah, Jake, chill the fuck out. Yeah, well, jeans, come at me. Come at me, jeans. I'm here. I can shut it up. He's not shy. He'll punch you. You know what I mean? He'll fucking punch you in the face. Is that he's gonna, is someone's phone, phone gonna, going off? Right? That's not my yeah. phone. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I mean, Terman, if you oh, listen to this, he's just joking. Who's FaceTiming you, huh? Scully. Yeah, I was gonna say the one of the funniest <laughs> com- one of the funniest comments in like Rough and Rowdy was when uh, when he when he quit and he was like claiming it was the heat and it was either like Roan or Caleb and they were like, oh, I well the uh, they're like well the jeans and the, and the Tims didn't really help. <laughs> no, he said, no, he said, uh, he said, all right, next Rough and Rowdy, we'll do it in Siberia. So, yeah, so yeah. Some, no, but someone made a comment about him wearing the jeans and Tims. He didn't like, actually well, fight. He didn't. He, he didn't fight in jeans when he fought me. He wore, yeah, I noticed that. He wore like regular like oh like he did athletic sweatpants. Okay, okay. And, oh, like, sweat, and, well, and sweatpants. I mean, still sweatpants and jeans. That's yeah. way hotter than yeah. fucking shorts. <laughs> no, it's because it, it was it, it was uh it was an it was like an outdoor arena that was that oh was, yeah yeah yeah. So it was and it was in Florida. So it was like kind of but it was it was nighttime. It was like midnight. So it was only like it was like in the sixties. So it wasn't like you know it wasn't like we were fighting in a sauna. Like, was that right before? Was that the last fight before COVID hit? That yeah, you had? yeah. Yeah. And then COVID hit, and then we had like a little hiatus for like ten months. So it's probably back. safe to say, wherever, whenever your next fight is, yeah. crowds are back, people are back. Yeah, definitely. I think yeah. that. I mean, I mean, hey, man, Corona ends at midnight I've tonight. Try making it. Yeah, in yeah. I, oh, I, I forgot I know, about I that. Yeah, we're not at risk in like yeah. two hours. Yeah, at midnight oh, tonight. Oh, COVID yeah. Ends. Yeah. Right? yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. How stupid is it that <laughs> <laughs> that like they, they had even set a date? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what What's I mean? Like the difference between fucking Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. The minute the minute they decided. August 20th. Oh, no, I mean, uh, May 20th. Was Insanity. it May 29th? Yeah. yeah. The minute Ins- they decided May 29th, everything's open. They should have been like, everything's open. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why wait two yeah. weeks? Yeah. Just fucking Do you know something seven. that we don't? Is yeah. it disappearing? Yeah. It's all going to disappear yeah. in two weeks. COVID's yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. The, the only uh, argument I've heard, because I always make that point. To like, prepare? Is people weren't prepared. They, yeah. they don't want to. It's like, hey, all these uh, bars and restaurants that were 25% capacity. Guess what? Starting uh, now, you guys are 100% open. Yeah, now they yeah. need to get employees going. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that yeah. crazy? We got to get people prepared for normal life. Yeah. It's you, know. Hey, guys, we got to prepare you to go back to the way we've been living for. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so, I'm going to a concert yeah. in like two weeks. I'm fucking ready. Dude, uh, I'
And uh, I can't because I have to go to a wedding the same day. So oh, that's pretty. Know. Weddings are there's fun. nothing. Oh. There's no. I thought of every possible angle to get out of it, and I can't. So, dude, the weddings you know, are gonna I, be crazy because no one's been able to get married for like two years. Yeah, no, dude. I, 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 wedding in June. Yeah. I have to go to fucking like six weddings this summer. Damn, yeah, I including my June. own. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Congrats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh. Wait, we've had that this whole time, and yeah, what are the we've had some good ones. Some good we've had a, we've oh. had a couple in okay. there. Yeah. Say, I've touched it before. If I knew we had that, I'd be dropping that. I, I you know what? Don't don't even let me have access to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'll, I'll abuse it. It's, it's deceiving. It. They don't they don't do a good job color coding them because, like for instance, green green is usually good, but you hit green and it's. But you don't program it yourself. Well, it's just yeah, you can. Oh, you know, oh it, my it, god! It, <laughs> how is this like the fourth show we've done, and I'm just finding out about these? We gotta <laughs> utilize. This, honestly, oh, I, I I can program custom. Justin told me not to let you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We gotta. I'm gonna. Wow. We. I can't wait till next week. We'll <laughs> You know what's funny is... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Bobby's going to sit here next week. Yeah, we're going to control of that. Yo, we had no fights coming up this weekend, so we kind of didn't know what to talk about. And we we normally do lawn, hour-lawn podcasts, and we said we're just going to make this one a short one, and it's already been over an hour now. Yeah. So, I mean, it worked out. I kind of blame myself for that. I talked. No, that's all no, right. It was right? Good. Why don't you let me start good. talking? I just, it was a good you show. said shit that people yeah. want to hear. People are going to yeah. want to hear that shit, so uh, I'm glad that we did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm glad it wasn't a 20 minute episode. I think it was a good episode. All yeah, right. For well, sure. On that note, do we have any uh, music? Play us off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some, uh, All right. Yeah, I like this. Hey, tune in next week. Folks. Give it up for this special guest, Jake Glancy. <laughs> yeah, he did great. Hey. Everyone, give it up for Jake. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't know we had these. This is fucking sick. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Good job, guys.